Once upon a time, there was a little fig tree who lived at the bottom of a garden. He was a beautiful tree, but he was a little bit sad. Hmm. Oh, bother. The little fig tree used to sing and sway in the breeze all day long, and he used to love singing along with the birds. But now he sat very quietly all alone at the bottom of the garden. One day, a little bluebird flew down to the bottom of the garden and landed on the tree. Oh, hi there, tree. Why the sad face? Don't tell me you've started to drop your leaves already. No, bluebird, it's not that. It's just that... Well, all the other trees have grown so tall that I can't see the family up in the house anymore. Oh, dear. The poor little tree felt very sad. But his new friend had an idea. I have an idea. Maybe there's a way I can help you to see the family in the house. Can you make me grow taller? Then I can see the family in the house over the top of all the other trees. No, I can't help you get taller. But I think I can help you in a different way. So the little bluebird flew up to the house, singing and squawking as loudly as she could. Squawk, squawk, come outside. Squawk, squawk, come and see. What a terrible loud noise. The family in the house heard the little bird and came out to see what all the noise was about. I wonder what that blue bird is fussing about. Squawk! This way! So the children followed the noisy little bird down to the bottom of the garden where the little tree was waiting very patiently. Look, there's that blue bird on top of that little tree we planted last year. Wow, I'd forgotten all about that tree. Yeah. Look, the trees have grown up all around it. Yeah, it's pretty dark in here now. Yeah. The little tree was very happy to see the children. He suddenly felt like swaying in the breeze again. Hey, let's put the little tree in a pot on our veranda. Then we'll be able to see it every day. So the children worked very hard to fill a nice clean pot full of fresh soil for the tree. And then they put him in it. Phew, that's better. Now for some water. Squawk, well done, squawk, see you later. Bye-bye, Bluebird, and thank you. Come over tomorrow and we can sing a song together. Oh, that sun feels so wonderful, warm and bright. So the little fig tree stayed on the veranda close to the family for a long, long time, and he was a very happy tree indeed. And that's the end of the story. Now it's time for a song.